lot of the, the discussions are being held like not between one group and the other group, but just within the one group. So I mean, there's a lot of discussion going on that's not consulting the people that are being discussed and stuff like that. So I, I think people come for a lot of different reasons. Um, uh, I came here because I went into studying computer design and communication. Uh, well, most specifically graphic design, and I can really do that in the media. Stay in Denmark is my academic study. Uh, like stability and security. That's pretty, I mean, it's difficult to find places in the world where you are as uh, sure of having a home and a livelihood and anything like that as in Denmark. Well, I definitely like um, how safe I feel here. I think it's a very secure place. I especially enjoy riding my bicycle. Yeah, honestly, I, uh, I feel welcome. The people are quite friendly. And the thing I like most in Denmark is that people welcome you, that uh, they are very communicative. That and wearing black colors, as you can see. I also like that people here are on time compared to Turkey. See them as friendly and very nice. Yeah, I just like the culture and the whole atmosphere. Yeah. I would say I feel welcome here. I have heard many foreigners or exchange students, or immigrants, many different types of, of foreigners in Denmark talking about it's difficult to get to know Danish people. Well, the hardest part for me definitely was about the people. And the other thing is probably more social. Um, I come from a very open society, I mean, very communal society. Saying that the culture is very different is very difficult. Uh, I didn't feel very welcome here in the beginning, mostly because I think my culture is very different from the Danish culture. Like to to feel welcomed or to adapt to it very easily because maybe uh, when I realized that I'm not able to speak English as well as Danish people uh, speak. So far, um, getting through the winter was uh, one of those difficult. To do all the organizational stuff, like uh, getting the residence permit and um, also, I don't know what else, the CPR number. The Sometimes you're missing a lot uh, your own culture and, and the way you, you do things that it's very different here and maybe you feel like you are doing things wrong or you don't know at all how to do them. Of course, culture makes a huge, huge difference in how you see the world, but I think if both parties, I mean both Danish, but also people coming to Denmark are sort of willing to, to learn and are open to learning, I don't think that, I mean, I don't think people ever get that different. But Danes are a very, very good and special people, and <laughs> it's definitely worth it to know them and to get to know the culture. I'm actually pretty glad to be born uh, in Denmark. Oh, no, I'm born in, uh, in Rwanda in Central Africa, but my family came to Denmark as refugees when I was eight years old, so we're Danish citizens now. And it's free education, especially if you have to pay for it in your own country, and you, so it gives yeah. someone a better opportunity if they might come from a family without so many means or... Because a lot of people who think that there are too many foreigners in Denmark live in places where they have literally never seen a foreigner. And so you could ask yourself, you know, how do you know there are too many if you haven't met <laughs> one? I think everybody should be welcome here in Denmark. We should embrace each other across all cultures and, and boundaries. The perception that there are a lot of foreigners in Denmark or that there are too many foreigners in Denmark is only a question of like hearing it in the media, I guess, because... But I'm more open to learn about you, and you're of course also more willing both to give, but also to learn about their culture, where they're coming from. Lack of information, also lack of, of willingness to seek the information. I believe that there should be a, a, a mutual open-mindedness. It should not, I haven't met anyone who said, like, go back home, uh, you shouldn't be studying here or whatever. So pretty courageous in the way that they... Yeah come to Denmark, which is also not, no, it's not the easiest. Of course, you can always learn uh, about other cultures and um, change your point of view from, from the world to expand your vision, you know. People, people aren't that different in the end, yes. I think. <laughs>